Yeah. Yeah, I think I think maybe the problem is that it doesn't show me any notification that you're already waiting. That's quite strange. Oh. Normally, it show me a notification, then I'm able to to respond to you. Uh, just by chance, only I open the participants, and then I find you in the waiting room. That's quite strange. Um, hmm. I, I'm not sure. Uh, did you update um, the Zoom recently? Yeah, it, uh, it's up to date my Zoom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to think about it. Why it happened like that? Okay. Um, okay, now um, let us resume what we were talking about. So, do you see, please, here, um, how I'm calling Mr. 2 here and here? Yeah. So which one will work, which call will really work, and which call will, will actually cause an error? Okay. Uh, the first and second will cause a problem, uh, but the third one will be correct. Uh, actually, no. The the these two calls will sorry, be fine. Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah, two of them are correct. Sorry, I, I thought they were both integer. I didn't see the double Y. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So, but can I understand why? So this is not double, and but this is accepting double. So why do you think he will accept the four? Uh, oh yeah, because even if you add an integer, it will just, Make it a double by putting point zero. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. it, it, it still will count. Yeah. Okay. Um, can we also look together at this code and see um, what is uh, what is the issue here in this code? Can you see the class at the bottom? This this class. Yeah. Okay. Do you see the uh, the definitions here? This is a constructor. This is two two methods that she created. Yeah. One static, one non-static. And then please read the code here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, why this? Uh, will give an error. Hmm. Is it because you're calling? Before you decide first. It's because they are in different classes, right? So, you... so okay, now some, some class, this is a some class, am I right? Yeah. This is the name yeah. of the class, am I right? Which is yeah. it's same like here. Is it same, right? Same, some yeah. class, some class. And then where is our method one and method two? This is method two, right? This is here, method yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. And here is method one. So, yeah. And what is this? A? Here. The, the A is the, the new, yeah. It's a variable, right? Correct. Okay. And we are able to use variables like that to call methods. Am I right? Have we seen something like yeah. that before? Yeah. Okay. Now, may I know why this two will work, but this one will not? Focus on okay. the static thing. All right, because that is a static method. So, yeah, which one is a static from here? The one. Method one, right? Okay. Yeah. So, only method one is allowed to be and called from yeah. the class, class name. Class, yeah. 
and then so okay and here method two is not static so we cannot call it this way right yeah okay then that's good and then um please um have a look at this this is just a simple um a simple normal call for methods so you see here this he defined uh, two methods and he called them this way. Do you know that we are able to call a method and add something to it and then store it in a variable? Is that something new to you or? No, this is okay. This is fine, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, void. Hmm. Okay, now have a look here. Uh, have a look at this class, please. So this is the normal, this is not a real class that you really um, use. Oh, never mind. Just, I, no, I, I don't want to confuse you. Wait. Uh, let me focus on an important topic or topic here so that we don't um, make you uh, confused with, yeah, this is more important. Have a look at this okay. student class. You have seen it before. And you have seen these two methods before. This is not, you have seen this and you have seen this. And this is a static and this is not static. The only thing new here is this. Right. So it means that inside our our class, we are able to call from this method, we are able to call other methods. Mm. Is it fine? Yeah. Okay. But then please look here. The previous code will work but this code would not work. Um, I am sorry if I only, if I don't ask you to write it, uh, that will never stick to your mind. Um, yeah. I, I know I know that because I am passing you a lot of information and you don't make use of them. They will evaporate. You have to write yeah. this code. Yeah. You already have the student class from before. You just need to add only, if you look at your code, you will find the student class. Yeah. You just need to add this line. This is the only new line here. Okay. So I put that in the method. Okay, print my ID. Okay. But so I'm calling print my ID from inside a static Into, method. Okay, okay. Which is then this if one. I go to my, yeah, now if I go to my main. Okay, so I just put S1 dot, and then I call it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. okay. I just want right. you to call this print uh, my ID. Uh, no, oh. sorry. I don't, I want you to call this. Sorry, not this. So out of the student class, I want you to call out print welcome message. Okay. Do you know how to do that? Or I need to see. Yeah, but I, I got an error. Okay, good. Then you share your screen, please. Okay. Can you read the error until I, I'm able to see your screen? Yeah, so the first one is uh, they cannot find the symbol print. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it because I didn't use capital? And... Oh, it's because I don't have a print my ID. Yeah, I don't have a 
my one is called Prince Student, not Print My ID. Really? So I should, yeah. Okay. Print Student with the system dot print with ID and name, right? It prints out my ID and my name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, okay. So let me change this. Call it Print Student. No, so can okay, so no non static method cannot be ref referenced from a static context. Yeah. Uh, I still not able to see your screen. That's quite strange. Yeah. Because my uh, print student is public void, but my welcome message is static void. Okay. Uh, can can you try to share your screen again? Because I only see okay. a, a, bl a blank yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh show me where okay, print print student, print welcomes, okay. Okay, now what your errors is saying. Cannot find simple. S1 dot print welcome message. Top okay. Uh can you show me your main screen, please? The main method, the main file. Okay, uh, where did you define S1? Oh, hmm. uh, was it here? You use yeah, S1, okay. S1, okay. You can, you can so also, I yeah. Can just Copy it, yes, think, fine. Technically, I could just take, okay, no, okay. Yeah, like that, okay. Mm hmm Hmm. Yeah, so now it's because of the static. So because this is a, uh, this is non-static. This is static. Right? So it's refusing to okay. So yeah. but we we said before that can you go back to main? Okay. The the correct way to call any static method is not to use a s one to call it. This is a variable. Static method is a method that. Uh, allow us to to call any method inside the class without creating a variable first. So this is not needed to be able to to call print welcome message. If you remove S1 and you write student in capital and dot print welcome, you will be able to call that method. Try please. Okay, so go back to the student here and comment that line, please. Oh. Okay. Okay. I can slash. There you go. Okay, run, please. So, did you manage to? You see here, welcome all students. Yeah. This is what was printed, right? Yeah. But my question now is that why it refused to that you call that here? Okay, never mind. Can you just take this method and call it from inside here? Okay. You know how to do that, right? Put your... Like that? Yes, and then call, go to main and call print student. Okay. Forget about this line, make another line. Like that? I mean, no, I mean, don't touch this line, uh, just leave it as it is. And uh, create another line that is using S1 dot yes now we're on what is your error okay, okay. yes it should work yeah so you managed to print right any errors so far 
No. Okay, why he, can I know why he why he printed out welcome all students two time? Uh because we call welcome all students again like here and, and then Okay. Because I yes called here and yeah. perfect. Okay. Do you notice okay, are you able to um use this student to call this print student please? So can you come okay, here? So get rid of uh, change S1 to no no don't change. Just come here another oh, okay. line. A new one? Okay. Yes. Okay. So hmm. can you read the error please? Can I yeah be reference from a static context? Uh, did I uh, manage to understand from you why this works, but this doesn't work? Um, I... Why this works? Why this doesn't work? Yeah, it's because... Um... Mm -hmm. uh, it's. I'm pretty sure it's because this is static, right? Yes, the static uh, make it easier to call a method without creating a variable first. Yeah. So, but this does not have a static. So you cannot call it using this, the class name. You have to create a variable first and then you can use it. Um, mm. Does this start to stick to your mind or still blur? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, can you go back now, please? To the main, main. Okay. Okay, now so now we start to understand that uh, why this work and we why this doesn't work. So can you comment that line? Just just only this line. Okay. okay. Okay, fine. Okay, go back to the student class. May I understand one thing from you, please? Um, yeah. Can you can you enable this? Okay. When you call print student, what will happen? It will come out from here. So yeah. it will come out for me. I try to execute that. Comment that line. Yeah. Here. Yes. Okay. Good. So. Um, notice one thing. We are trying to print here the ID and the name, right? Yeah. When when the ID and the name is assigned from the constructor, right? Yeah, from the constructor. Yeah. Okay. When the constructor is is called. Yeah. Eh? When? No, no, the constructor. This is the constructor. Yeah. I want to know from you. Go to main. And tell me which yeah. line will call the constructor. Which which of these two lines will call the constructor? The first one. First one. Okay. So it means that only when we use the new with the cl class yeah. name and this, and we pass it ID and right. name, then we'll call constructor, right? So so same here, yeah. right? It's, this is yeah. what is okay. Now um, if you comment that line. Do you think you're able to call that student print welcome message? No. Oh, the welcome message? Welcome yes. message, yeah. Yeah. Yes. The welcome message, you can, yeah. I can. Okay. I can yeah. without calling the constructor. Can. Okay. Can you change that to two parameters, please? So that we are not confused. And make that one uh, parameter. Okay. Okay, now uh, try to run, please. We're still facing an error. Yeah, with this print student. Why Why this print student cannot be, is having a problem? Why? Still, it's not. I think not it's the clear. same reason. I think it's the same reason as before with the static. Okay, so uh, I want you to go to main, please, again. Okay. Go to main. Okay. 
comment that 109 line, please. Line 109, comment it. Try to run, please. Still an error. Yeah. Okay. Because you need to... Go to student. Comment uh, line 25. Run, please. Yeah. This should work. This should work, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. my question now, why, why on earth it does not accept from me that I call this even though they are all in the same class? Because this, well, you need the constructor because like to use this, you need constructor because you, with the ID and name. So you need the constructor to use this. So when you call, it still won't work. Okay. So when you call the constructor, he start to create inside the memory these two variables. Yeah. If that's why if you if you don't create these two variables, okay, they don't have values, they don't have any presence in the memory. And then when you try to print them, also is a problem because they are not there at all. You are calling a variable yeah. that was not defined. Okay. Yeah. So when yeah. they are defined, when you call the constructor. Okay. Okay, but but then my question now is quite strange. If if I try to put the print welcome message here, it will work. That is yeah. a big question mark. Why? Why I'm not able to call the print student from here, but I'm able to, to do the reverse, which means that I'm able to call that here and without an, an issue. Tell me. What, is it is it is it because uh, you need you need the um, originally I thought it was because of the I, the static because it's a static with a public static void so it doesn't need it can be called anywhere. Uh, it's that is something true, yes, um, and also okay, uh, again. May I understand from you to ab to be able to call print student, you need to create a variable or not? This print student, yeah, yeah, you need to create a variable. Okay, you need so, ID and name. Okay, w when you um, when you create a variable yeah. internally, you are able to call a static method inside uh, that method without an issue. Why? Because it is. It's still a brother or a sister um, a method, okay? And it does not have any variables that is required um, and or it having a, how to say, I, I don't know how to say it. Um, I, I need to find the correct words out of that. Oh. In simple, um, you're able to call static methods from just just a normal method. Um, I think maybe I'll try to find uh, better examples to clarify that point to you. Um, but you are not able to do the reverse. So any static method cannot call non-static one. So from the normal method, you are able to call static, but not the reverse. Can you? Put that in your mind at the moment until we we seek yeah. more clarification examples. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, let me stop sharing and then uh, we continue. Okay, you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. We come to a concept called uh, overloading methods. Um, so this actually uh, a concept that allow us to use the same method name, which is add. So this is my class. And um, this is the normal main. We have different add methods. And all of them is a static one. Okay. This is not, uh, okay. 
Now, let me let me put it this way. You see this integer x, integer y. Double x, double y. Integer x, integer y, integer z. So these add methods have actually a, a different signature. What is, what is meant by different signature? Although they all carry the same name, but uh, Java allow me to, to actually um, make them because of only one reason. The parameters are different. Here integer, here double. Here the count of the parameters are different. As long as you, you make the parameters different, he allow you to use the same name. So, but why the hell I would like to confuse myself and create three methods that do the same thing? Why, why do you think I need to do that? It's confusing, right? Yeah. Okay. May I know uh, that is it you can guarantee or, or you can guarantee that all the time that you only uh, are able to add, you only need to add two integers. You will never need to add two doubles. Can you guarantee that? Or it depends on the situation. No. Sometimes you need to add yeah, doubles. Yeah, it depends. It yeah. depends. Okay. And sometimes you don't need to only add two. Maybe you need to add three integers. So situation are different, right? No. Okay. Can you see that line? Okay. This, this first ad use that method. The second yeah. ad use that method because it's double, right? The, the difference is doubled. You did not tell, you yourself did not tell the Java which method to use, but it used its smartness to actually find the correct uh, method to be called based on the type, the data type of the parameters and based on the count of the parameters. So how this, this ad call this directly and did not call this because it searched for for an integer parameter but three of them not not only two that's why it doesn't call this is it confusing no it's okay acceptable yeah yeah okay mm. I, I don't want to just okay I don't I don't want to make it difficult but it's the same if I if I don't tell you to write it then um, you will never be able to remember it um, I know that for for on the hard way just don't need to write uh, these three methods just only these two and these two lines only so you have um, just maybe six lines to write. You don't need to create a new class. This is inside your main. You need to write these two lines without this, of yeah. course. And these two methods under under the main. Yeah. Okay. So I need to make a new... Inside your main, no need to make a new class. Just oh, okay. inside your main, write these two. May I know so far? Um, oh, sorry. We also need to close again. Oh, okay. 